I just wanted to do a quick review on the new arouser plugin by Empirical Labs. Um, there's a, been a lot of um, promotion going on and they delayed the release of this for various reasons. So there's been a lot of hype. And um, I just wanna say that I've had it for a little bit now and I think it's a great plugin. Um, it's definitely worth the wait. You know, there's a lot of people that are concerned whether it sounds exactly like a distressor or not, but I'll leave that up to you. You know, there's a demo up, you can check it out. Um, the thing that's that's noteworthy is that it has extra features like this attack modification section, which I think is fantastic. It's, um, it, it's just a touch, it, it, it adjusts the, the curve of the attack so you can shape things. And in some instances on transient material, you can get a little more snap out of something. And then also this soft clipping section here, which um, it allows you to adjust the third order harmonic distortion, which is very cool. And then the next section is the detector circuit for the high pass filter. And, um, you know, basically that tells your compressor to ignore whatever frequency you selected and below. So it's great for preserving fat low end on kick, bass, things like that. Um, another cool thing is this detector sidechain EQ, which is a parametric EQ for the sidechain. So this can, you know, this lets you zero in on frequencies that you want the compressor to help emphasize or to take away. So for example, if you got, you know, some really splashy symbols, um, you know, coming out of like a room mic or something, you want to squash it and get a, a nice pumping kind of feel. This can help because you can throw it in 10K and make it kind of a wide bandwidth or whatever you want. And then you basically cut it here and it'll remove that. So it'll, it'll compress that frequency more than the rest. And um, alternatively, if you want to bring that out, you can bring it to the left. So it's really great. And then the next thing here is a blend knob, which is parallel compression. Uh, sure, most people are familiar with. All the way to the right, it's full on compression. To the left, you're adding in dry. It's great. Um, I, I can't really complain about this plugin. The, if, I, if I were to criticize it at all, it would be, um, I, I would prefer that each of these sections here had their individual bypass. Because say, if I, if I set the attack modification, say I wanna compare that setting to being off, the only way to do that is to drag the knob over. And the same with the soft clip section, the high pass, and the parametric EQ. It would be ideal to be able to bypass those. Um, that's really one of the only things that I I have um, that I think that would be great if they changed or updated. Um, another thing is I wish, um, if I could have everything, I would have at least another band of this sidechain EQ because it's it's really cool. That's pretty much it. I'll leave you with an example. I got I just got a drum track here. There's nothing on it. No plugins right now. It's just um, volume pan volume and pan settings. So I'll play it dry and then I'll add the arouser and we'll we'll take it from there. So as you can see, it definitely adds excitement and aggression. Um, I won't go into detail on different settings and stuff like that. Um, I went ahead and I did a longer, more in-depth video where I use this on individual tracks in a mix and I show that as an example. So look forward to that video. And in the meantime, pop over to Empirical Labs website and download a free demo and see what you think. And I'll check you out next time.